In this video, we'll be reviewing the mean value theorem for integrals and the average value of a function on an interval. Spoiler alert, these two concepts are one and the same. So let's begin with the mean value theorem for integrals. If f is a continuous function on the closed interval a to b, then there exists a number c in that interval such that the definite integral from a to b of f of x with respect to x is equal to f of c multiplied by b minus a. This is the mean value theorem for integrals. And let me break this down for you. The definite integral from a to b of f of x dx, well, we should know by now that this represents the area of f of x, so the area under f of x from a to b. Now next, f of c represents some y value on f of x, so it could be you know f at 1, f at 2, if that lies between a and b, and that's just some y value of f of x in between a and b. Lastly, b minus a represents the length from a to b. So let's take a look at this graph. Again, the definite integral from a to b represents the shaded area. Now, if we remove the shading, the mean value theorem means that we can make a rectangle that will have the same area as the definite integral from a to b. So, using a left rectangle based on f at a would be an under approximation in this case. And moreover, we would see that a right rectangle based on f at b would be an over approximation. And so there must be some f of c that we can make a rectangle out of that will equal the definite integral from a to b of f of x dx, such as the one that we have here. And we can see that comparison by including the shading one more time. And so, once you compute the definite integral from a to b of a function, then we can go ahead and just plug in our values for a and b and simply solve for the c by setting f of x equal to whatever all of this was and solving for the x, which we would call c in this case. And like I stated earlier, the mean value theorem for integrals and the average value are the same idea. Here it is. If f is integrable on the closed interval a b then the average value of f on the interval is 1 over b minus a multiplied by the definite integral from a to b of f of x with respect to x and we're going to go ahead and call this f average for now so the average value of f and let me break this down for you too the definite integral from a to b of f of x with respect to x, we know that this represents the area, the two-dimensional area from a to b. The 1 over b minus a, that represents this area being divided by the distance from a to b, which means that you are dividing by the width, leaving you with an average height. Here's what I mean by that. Note that the area is represented as a equals base times height. And this is for a rectangle. Now, if we were to go ahead and divide both sides by the base, we would receive the area over the base equals the height. And the reason that we can represent the situation with a rectangle is because we have a two-dimensional area. And then we are dividing by a base from a to b. So 1 over b minus a signifies that division. Now that we have that, if we were to divide a two-dimensional area by a height, we would be left with one dimension, in this case, the height. However, even though it might not be a perfect rectangle, it could be circular, it could be very curvy, the basic idea is that we have an average area. So if we represented that area in the sense of a rectangle, if we divided by the base, we would receive the height or the average height that will give us that same area from a to b and guess what let's go ahead and multiply both sides of this equation by b minus a so if we were multiplying the numerator of both sides by b minus a we would get the following we would receive 
that the definite integral from a to b, because b minus a over b minus a, that would reduce to 1. So we would have the definite integral from a to b of f of x with respect to x is equal to f average multiplied by b minus a. Hmm, that looks a little familiar. Let's go ahead and rewind for a bit. Let's go ahead and think about that mean value theorem for integrals. Huh, look at that. So if this is true, which it is, f average is equal to f at c, and that same f of c from the mean value theorem for the integrals. The average value gives us f of c, whereas the mean value theorem for integrals implies that we go further and solve for c directly. That's not so bad, is it? Go ahead and watch your example videos to master these ideas through practice. We'll see you there.